I really like making content for Star Citizen. The game has a huge set of mechanics and things to explore and experiment with, and every update there's often more and more of these mechanics introduced to play around with. That being said, with more things being added, comes more variables and more chances for bugs pop up in the game. No, 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 no. That's the nature of game development. You release a patch that makes some changes over here, but unsuspectingly, that's gone and set this section over here on fire. Okay, no, 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 no. But you can't do anything about it until the patch is out in the wild and the fire's being lit. In general, 3.18 has been terrific. I've participated in each patch so far in 3.18 and had had amazing results. Entire days without a crash or bug and plenty of action and fun had. But while I was filming this video on the 3.18 test branch this past weekend, it was most certainly a fire hazard. No, 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 no. Now, that's not to say 3.18 is going badly. This patch was put out on a Friday night, which is considered high risk in game development, since if anything goes wrong, you can't do much over the weekend, since no one's in the office. So the fire had the longest potential time to burn. <laughs> now that I have that disclaimer out of the way of why things were the way they were, a lot of people accuse content creators of editing out the brokenness of Star Citizen and only highlighting the pretty parts. Well, this is the story of me unsuccessfully getting any pretty parts. This is all ugliness, baby. No, 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 no. And these are some of the trials you can go through with the bad patch in Star Citizen. My name's Dead Leader, and let's go through this together. Alright, so the theme of this video was I wanted to see if I could live completely off the grid. I wanted to get all of my items out of my home planet. I was going to get all my ships out of the uh, terminal and I wanted to land them down on a planet's surface. Make sort of like a caravan park on a planet, you know, all, all the, or like a, I don't know what I was thinking. I just wanted every ship to be out in like a field and I wanted to be somewhere people couldn't come across me and I wanted to set things up out like you know put well not put tables and stuff up but I wanted to put boxes out put the plushies out you know in the wild put each of my vehicles all out in the field next to each other in a row and I wanted to see over the weekend like what would happen to you know all my ships and all my stuff what sort of troubles I might find was I going to be able to refind where I'd sort of parked my fleet um, were things going to start despawning side too much in an area uh, you know, it was this was technically going to be like the ultimate Pez test. It was just the wrong day. <laughs> it was just the wrong time to do the ultimate Pez test. So I'd gotten my Carrick. I'd gotten everything from uh, Crusader uh, on, onto the Carrick. And the plan was to go to Microtech uh, since I could breathe the atmosphere there. So I found a little spot near New Babbage, I saw these two markers here next to the Calhoun Pass Emergency Center. There was a mining facility. So I'm like, all right, it's two things that I could use for resources. It's not that far away from New Babbage um, and I could get vehicles out. So I decided I would set my marker for there at the mining outpost. I was gonna land there, uh, stock up on anything that I may have needed. And then I was gonna try and you know, pull out of warp on my way to New Babbage and remember the distance from there so I could refind my way back there at any given time. First of all, I went for all the ground vehicles that I could get out of a, a, a mining uh, station. Got the Ursa Rover that I kind of just slammed in the back there. And I thought, of course, I've got to make a couple, two SEU boxes. Chuck those ones on board. And then I went and uh, got a uh, PTV. Landed the Pisces in the hangar. So I settled for a little field just over here. It was, I wanted some trees in the background and enough of like the mountain line to 
make it aesthetically pleasing and pretty as possible. Nice. And I thought the first thing I would test off being on the planet side was just to immediately try and bedlock. You know, the first test, get it over and done with, make sure it was reliable enough to repeat. Came back a few hours later and it had respawned me in Grim Hanks. So I was a little bit worried that the Carrick with literally everything that I have in the game already was just completely lost. So I took the def Banner Defender out, flew my way back, and to my surprise, uh, there it was. I could still see the Carrick and the Grey Cat and the Ursa Rover still on the radar. So luckily, persistence had worked. Uh, it was just bed logging that hadn't really worked at that point. Why would the ship turn off? Why? Wait. Let's chat. Fit? Mm. Nope. I arrived back in Grim Hex again. I got the 400 eye out. I thought, all right, everything's still going to be there out in the field, so I might as well just get another ship out and go park it next to him. What? What the fuck? Is this? Is that a bed? Wait, where'd it go? You want to see that? Ah, uh, what? What? No. What? Ugh. But I can't. I can't like even get. It. Oh fuck. Which way is up right now? Hello. Uh, I don't know who's that ship is. Uh, no, I came here in a Pisces. All right, classic Cuddy Black. Nothing has ever gone wrong in a Cuddy Black. Why? What? <clears throat> so, after that, it spawned me back in Orison again. But this time I noticed that the Carrick said it was stored there and also the Banu Defender. So, at that point, I didn't know had it actually stored the Carrick in there and the Banu Defender with all the things on them? Or were they still sitting out on Microtech or had they duplicated somehow? So I got the Banner Defender out to see if it still had my gun in the weapon rack. So therefore, technically that Karak in there should have everything loaded into it as well. Yeah, yeah, the gun's still there. So, so I went back to Microtech to see if the Everything was still where I parked it, you know? Maybe this was like, I duplicated them somehow, or maybe I was in another shard, and that's what happens when you go to another shard. Those, uh, the ships that were persisting then get stored with everything in them, and I wanted to see if at least the ones that had been stored were persisting correctly internally. across the plains trying to find the Carrick and potentially a second Banner Defender when the game decided to Chris Roberts me. How am I supposed to make this fucking video if this keeps happening? Now that I knew that technically everything should still be in it, uh, like the Banner Defender was, I decided to get the Carrick out and test to see if things were on there. 
See, the vehicles must be in there. Not sure why the ramp is open. Oh, there's the storage boxes. Might well, might as well put some yeah, more plushies and stuff down. Really push, push the pets. Oh, I didn't mean to drop that. Beautiful. Let's get a... Yeah, yeah, the sexton's still there, thank God. What? What happened to the... Ghost whale? Nice. Put a second cup of coffee down. Alright, let's take this show on the road. What? What the f*** was that? Why am I getting out of the chair? Why is the ship like this? What the hell is that squeaking? Is it hey. What's that whale? It got How did it get out of the carrick? Okay, well I should be able- Okay, no 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 what is happening? What bug is this? At this rate, I'm going to be writing more issue council bug reports than I am going to be spending time playing this game. Hey, we go. Now we're out. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I'm literally like trying to roll the complete opposite direction that I'm going. I'm looking. I don't have any external game controller or whatever connected it's just wanting to go to like up and to the right I'm just, I'm just gonna turn my engines off maybe I can like re fix I don't know maybe is that what oh, is this working is this work nope 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 all I want to do is I live in a trail park with all my ships and my plushy toys. I'm getting dizzy as hell now. I don't know. Wait. Are you kidding me? Look at the joystick. It's just physically... Are you telling me that it's tied to the position of the actual digital joystick? I don't know how. I can't do this video. I've been filming for forever. Wait. Wait. Will Terry? Will Terry? Is that... Will Terry, is that... Terry, is that you, bro? Dead Reader is that to you. I never saw to you see you again since the platform. I thought I lost you in some platforms. Why do you... Why do you look so different? What your outfits changed? I did not die. Somehow I'm still alive in this new patch. Also I remember most things. Some memories are still spotty. Why? How is how is this possible? How am I how am I finding you here? After I woke up, I decided I needed to make a change, so I came here to Rollbill. I mean, you're my best friend, Little Terry. Like, what have you been doing? I got my real estate license and have been making bank selling fake plots of land to people. Oh my God, that's that's amazing. Lutera, I, I I thought you died. I thought I thought I'd lost you. <laughs> hey, no need to be rude, man. I mean Dead Reader, you are still the same stupid bastard as always. <laughs> Lighten up. I'm just joking. You are my best friend. Hey, um I know we haven't seen each other for a while, but did you maybe want to go grab some beers and I don't know. Fishing? 
ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ